I'm Margaret Gibson, and I had the pleasure and privilege of walking the wood parcel, which is part of the Great Meadows Conservation Trust in Glastonbury. It's also near Old Weathersfield in Connecticut. Um, just to let you know, it is an alluvial ecosystem and uh, the Connecticut River is nearby. And so what we have here is an alluvial forest along alluvial land that has been taken now for many other purposes, as you'll hear. Um, the poem is in 15 parts. Some of them are only one line or a phrase. Um, and I don't usually like poems with numbers in it, but I want you to think of the numbers here as not a countdown, since they go from 1 to 15, but a kind of count up, a kind of sense of time passing, um, because that is an awful lot about what the poem um, has to say. The poem is called Meditation on a Floodplain Meadow, Lit and Shadowed by Sun and Cloud. One. Time is a floodplain, a bone, a seed. Two. If I'm still enough, in time present I may sense time past and time future. Skiaw! yelps the green-backed heron as it lifts from a limb of the bitternut hickory, and I translate the heron's monosyllable now. Three. Now also the sound of a tractor in the corn harvest. Now the crunch of my boot soles on patchy gravel and dirt trail that weaves past a slump of earth where a house once in the 18th century was before it was raised to make way for a highway, this whoosh on the edge of stillness. Four, just breathe. Five, whoever named it Fearful Swamp was not a wangunk. They wove cattail mat, ate shoots and roots, fished the deep river, brook and cove. They transformed plants into medicine. Six, time is the tractor that uncovers their bones while planting seed corn early summer. Seven, the photograph of an old iconic American elm in nearby Old Weathersfield shows it to be 15 feet in diameter. Now, as the ash trees die off, we plant American elms, disease resistant. Eight, time is a cornfield, a green pond, a bench with a vista, sedge grass and meadow swamp, bands of pale brown and yellow and dusky green that whisper September, nine, September, after a summer's hard drought kept all hands filling five gallon plastic jugs to water the new bare root plantings of tupelo, hackberry, tulip poplar, bringing back the indigenous. 10. Time is an emerald ash borer. 11. In time past, Beaver Brook considered by some settlers inconvenient, was redirected. It was common once, this draining of the floodplains for cornfields, turf farms, suburbs, highways. Where, where exactly is the remnant floodplain, swamp and forest now? 12. If with your whole body in sunlight and shadow you read the land, you may sense a covenant that links sycamore, migrant oriole, corn farmer, native pharmacist, alluvial silts, arrowroot, and black willow into one flooding of water, wind, sunlight, earth. Why would you want to alter that covenant? 13. Last year's planting of young elms unfurls its leaves in time future, making the present moment steeper, 
greener. But you must not ignore the dough mangled along the concrete traffic barrier, center lane, Route 3. 14. Time present, time past, and time future abide in time present beneath this canopy of towering sycamore, burgeoning elm, swamp maple, ash. 15. Time is a floodplain, a bone, a seed. And as you hear, we end where we began in the great circle and web of the natural world. Mm -hmm.